And y'all, today we have Papa Do's because we haven't had Papa Do's yet. And um, I have the Atlantic Salmon Blackened. I have some broccolini. I have some garlic mashed potatoes. And I have a seafood salad. And this, it has shrimp. No, I'm sorry. It's um, seafood Caesar salad. They have the best Caesar salad, y'all. Oh, my God. What'd you get? And I got some fried alligator. Appetizer, wow. and the jumbo shrimp brochette over dirty rice, and uh, the alligator come with these extra crispy shoestring French fry. Yum. Mm. Lord, please bless this food, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Amen. And amen. God, we are about to eat. You say broccolini? That's what they call it. Really? I thought you just made that up. I'm not sure what mm. that is exactly. Oh, and I'm going to put y'all on to something new. I don't know if it's mm. going to be new to everybody, but I'm going to uh, show y'all after I eat. Mmm. Young merch. This alligator is good. I wish you could taste it. Mmm. I've had it before. Oh, it no, like but this chicken. one is so good, it's spite, you know. Got a nice flavor on it. Mmm. Mmm. These potatoes are delicious. So good. Mmm. I'm going to use tartar sauce for my mm, fish. Fish. And I got a big loaf of Jesus bread with it. <laughs> Let's break bread. Let us break bread. Jesus bread. And yeah, y'all. Mm -hmm. What is this? Something lemonade. Uh, Strawberry lemon, lemonade? No, it's lemon berry. Oh. Ain't it something like that? Lemon berry squeeze. That's what this is. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. Oh, excuse me. You know, when I hear the story about Jesus feeding like the multitudes of people with like two fish and five loaves of bread, this is the loaf mm -hmm. of bread I think about. I don't mean to. Mmm. Mmm. Sam is good. This bread is good. Mmm. Did I even see our plates? That's what mine looks like. The salmon, broccolini, and the potatoes. Look at that plate of fried food. Mm -mm. These are so good. Mm. But they look extra fresh. Exactly. Mm hmm. Who loves Papa Do's? If you do. Mm. What do you get when you go to Papa Do's? I used to get a big old plate of just fried food. Oh. Mm. The biggest one that they had. Mmm. Trump. You ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Are those better than the ones at the Mexican restaurant? Because mm. one is Spanish and that one's what? Creole? Okay. I don't know. The, the Mexican spot might have been better. I don't you know. Are you serious? 
I don't really want to say that like that. These are good though. They taste a little different in their own way. That's what I was like trying to process. Got a salad. And I tell y'all. Oh. Ever. Now you was one sad that loving girl, ain't you? Mm. You just had a sad yesterday, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It was delicious. Fried alligator, I think I ever had. Have you had a whole lot of it? Yeah. I'm not grew up in Louisiana. Now everybody grew up on the same step. They grew up in Louisiana. Anytime I see alligator in the appetizer, which I, I don't know why they always only put it in the appetizer. I always do. Oh, like. Why you don't do the entree? Yeah. Mm. Y'all, Jaden is asleep, mm. just in case anybody's wondering. Leia's taking care of Bobby right now. That's why I don't hear any footsteps. <laughs> You know what? The Mexican restaurant, these were real smoky. Mm -hmm. These were more like grilled. Oh, uh, really? The smoke, I still good though. You can't go wrong with shrimp uh, wrapped with bacon with cheese and jalapeno on the inside. How can you go wrong? <laughs> Got all the details. Like I said, I had just clicked on it whenever you pulled up. Mm -hmm. But um, it went dark for three hours in Russia yesterday. Unexplainable. For three hours, like in the middle of the day. Imagine it just get dark, like nighttime, just swoop down on you. Mm -hmm. For three hours, and nobody knew why. Mm -hmm. So what were people speculating? Well, some, you know. Scientists, which you know, you can't trust. This is this is a this is a bullcoin answer. I read something about uh, they trying to blame it on some type of mysterious cloud or something. What? A, yeah, it wasn't on cloud. Mm -mm. They probably don't even know what it is. Oh, they know what it is. Like I told you before, that all this about the end of the world. The world is just destroyed and reborn in cycles. It's been going on for thousands and hundreds of thousands, millions of years. It's destroyed and it's reborn mm -hmm. over and over again. Civilizations have been found, mm -hmm. you know. It keeps happening, just like the sun rise and fall. Mm -hmm. What causes this destruction keeps happening. Because our sun has a, 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 a companion, mm -hmm. a sun that also has planets around it like our planet. And it revolves around the sun with its planets and it you know comes around every so many thousands of years. Mm -hmm. So you got all these extra planetary bodies out there floating around and I'm sure it was one of them that caused the eclipse. It's like it's gonna be one of them like when it when it passed by it's gonna grab the earth and flip it and that's when we're gonna experience all these great earthquakes, tidal waves, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be the dreaded day of the Lord right there. But us getting an eclipse like that is just letting you know this. I, I've been telling you, it's, you know, it's here. I know. But, uh, you 
know, we just waiting on the day. That's why all these volcanoes going off, earthquakes, all this crazy weather. I heard some something about in the Arctic. Mm -hmm. It was eighty something degrees. What? Yeah, in the Arctic. Really? <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear that. Wow. Like the top of Siberia or something like that. Do y'all know anything about it um, becoming dark for three, what was it, three hours? It just happened yesterday. In Russia. Do y'all know anything about that? Let me know in the uh, comments. We might have some people that live out there that's Russian. I think we do. So what did the people from um, Russia think that it was? Let me know. A lot of times, like a lot, a lot of these chemistry trails that they spray, some of them, because some of them are just to, you know, pollute the air and put whatever they're putting in there. Mm -hmm. To affect the earth for whatever reason, for whatever, what, whatever. I ain't. I said a whole lot of nothing just now. What am I trying to say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, say They're that not, again. Yeah. yeah, they know what it is because sometimes they'll put, they'll spray a bunch of clouds in the sky. Like if they know it's going to show over a certain, you know, in a certain area, like the people who live here will be able to see it at this time on this day because they're tracking all of their movements. Mm hmm. Then they'll have, you know, jets coat the sky and cover the sky with these fake clouds, you know what I'm saying, these chemtrails to block it out so you can't see it. They want to keep it a secret as long as they can, you know, because as soon as the word get out, they lose control of everybody. Hmm. I wonder what they think people are going to do, like, lose control, like. What do they think people, people are going to lose their mind? I don't think I'm going to be able to be controlled. Oh, yeah, man. It's going to be chaos in the world. If you went outside tomorrow and there was a big red planet covering up most of the entire sky, you couldn't even see because, like, this gigantic planet is right on top of you. Like, people are going to people are gonna die just in fear. Their heart going to stop beating. Like, imagine it. It ain't gonna be a normal day in the park. And it like, once stuff starts happening, you got catastrophes going on everywhere. Ain't nobody to come save you. Like, look at all these places we having these catastrophes. Mm -hmm. You know, eventually the world will come and, you know, help you pick up the pieces. But what happens when the whole world is in a disaster? Ain't nobody coming to save you. Then we're going to be back to, you know, Wild Wild West. You're going to have to defend yourself. Before somebody let their family starve to death, they'll come and take your food. Mm -hmm. And vice versa, pets going to be the first to go. What you mean? If the system shut down and, you know, there was no longer, you know, Walmart wasn't getting no more shipments once they sold out of meat, mm -hmm. out of food, you know, once you ate all your canned goods, all your crackers, everything in your pantry, then what? When you ain't got nothing to eat, what you gonna eat? That neighbor dog looking mighty juicy. I'm <laughs> telling you. It's gonna be crazy. When y'all eat y'all's pet, like, come on, man. No, man. I couldn't do it. But before you will, somebody else will. Like, if we starving in here and now we got a dog in the backyard, you don't think I'd go and. Can we? Why are we talking dog? about that on here? You asked me what's going on in the world, I told you. Well, I ain't and you said let's talk about that, and I say, uh, I don't think you really want to talk about that. We can talk about but something it's else real. besides that. It's real. Because we're eating. More to the story, story y'all. The, the, the day of the Lord is upon us. And don't be caught off guard. Don't spend your whole life watching mukbangs and whatever else you be watching. Oh, Try that's real smart. Not to tell them no, you I'm watch just saying, mukbangs because they're watching, watching the mukbang us. right now. 
Don't spend your whole life away seeking entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Seek to be closer to God and try to, you know what I'm saying, make him proud. Because soon he's going to be picking up his chosen people and he's going to leave the rest. Don't get left behind. Wear it up. Like my new hair. It's new. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I love it, y'all. <laughs> y'all can't tell. You had one. You got one like that. No, no. What's different about this one? First of all, you see, you don't pay attention. This, this is a whole different curl pattern. It's longer. Where's she from? It's like twenty-four inches. <laughs> Where's she from? I believe she's from Brazil, I think. <laughs> it's like a Brazilian loose, um, loose wave. Yeah, from, no. um, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's uh, Erlure hair. Anyway, they have really uh, affordable prices, like real affordable prices. Mm. No smile, no smile. I don't know why I keep saying that song. Mm. Yeah, I had better dirty rice though. Oh, that dirty rice is not good, y'all. <laughs> what do you usually get when you go to Papa Dough? I know it's not your first time eating a Papa. Uh, probably a fried seafood plate, yeah, fried mm. fish and shrimp, or this. Yeah, Me and their, these go way back. Their dirty rice is usually dry. Is it dry? It ain't just. It ain't that. It's just kind of. It's just not the kind of dirty rice I grew up on. It tastes like some of that box stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you grow up on beignets or is that just like mm. a New Orleans thing? It must be New Orleans. We didn't eat that. Really? No beignets at all? You know what? My auntie did used to make, um, I think she would take a can of biscuits mm -hmm. and fry them and put powdered sugar on it. And yeah. So, yeah, I guess so. We did that. We did those, it, but we would call, we call them donuts. Valerie used to make those for us. I miss those. Mm -hmm. Y'all wanna see us eat some of them? put holes in the, um, in, in the, you know. In the biscuit? Put, exactly, you should put a hole in it. Like spread a hole in it and then fry it. And then as soon as they come out, she put, um, I feel, oh, did she put powdered sugar or just or regular sugar? Might have been regular remember. sugar. I, I think it was regular well. sugar back in the day. We used to love that so much. Did you ever have a monkey bread? Mm-mm. I see that in the freezer section all the time. Really? Mm-hmm. You need to get some or we can make it or whatever. That stuff is so good. Like really? People used to make that a lot. Monkey bread, golly. Y'all let me know if y'all heard of or had some monkey bread. Tell her how good it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it in the freezer section. Is it easy to make? I ain't never made it. Hmm. I mean, I would have to have the gluten-free version of course. I mean, if it's in the freezer station, I'm sure you just... I don't even know how it's cooked. I'm pretty sure we could look up a recipe. I'm sure. Do not let me forget to show them this fruit. With those cherry plums? Yes. Well, thanks for saying it. <laughs> if, if, you, if I didn't say what it what, was... What, was a secret? Yeah. Until I told them. Did you see how it only came with like a few in the um, basket? Yeah, it wasn't full. Mm -mm. God, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. These 
or grill. Ooh, it tastes like smoke all around. Yeah. Not fishy at all. Mm. I think I want to film that um try on haul tonight. I don't know who's gonna film it. Me. Let's put it on oh. um, tripod. <laughs> With nobody <laughs> asking you to do nothing. I don't know who's gonna film it. Cause murder show going live. Now you've been going live every day, huh? Mm-hmm, pretty much. I'm taking Thursday off, so if you want to do that stupid yoga challenge. Stay tuned, y'all. Stay tuned to the vlog channel. Ooh, so now we got a day. Okay. I can't wait. That's gonna be fun. Okay, wait. <laughs> they don't have a yoga channel, it's like old folks edition. What? Stop being old. No. We need some type of, we don't have a yoga pad. We don't have to have a yoga we pad. We sure can't do it on this hard floor. Are you kidding me? We can do it in our room on the carpet. Uh -huh. Hello. I was crawling Just around with Jaden last night and my knees was hurting every time I crawled on it. Like Yeah, mine too. That's why I don't crawl on my knees. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> when so when this happened? Well, remember when we was at the um at the playground? We was in Brian. And you had and I was trying to crawl through the and I couldn't you got stuck? crawl. Because your knees, my was hurting. knees. <laughs> I, I still don't know what that is. I don't know what it was. But I literally could not crawl on my knees. Like I couldn't. Maybe I'm too heavy for my knees, you know? And then back then though, I didn't even have all that weight on me. So I don't know what the deal was. Maybe when you're not used to being on your knees, you know, it's hard to crawl on. Mm, 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 mm. I'm full. <laughs> you full? Um, I'm not old, it's just, just right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these go hand in hand. Like, you couldn't, just these shrimp wouldn't have been enough. Mm. Mm, now, who's going to be the last bite? I think I'll do the shrimp. seen something that looks like this. This is called a cherry plum. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had a cherry plum, y'all. I just found out about these when we were over at Mercio's mama's house visiting with his son. You know, the last time we were there. And she had a thing of these that she had got from Sam's. Like what? I had never ever seen these a day in my life. I have never heard of them or anything. Have you? Y'all, when I tell y'all, I bit into this and I couldn't believe it. <sighs> y'all, <laughs> this is so good. It's sweet. Like, I don't know, like, um, you know, when, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it when it's uh, the season for them? I don't know, like when their season is. I'm not sure. I think I'm pretty sure it's the summer. Is, yeah, spring and summer. Yeah, spring and summer. But, y'all. It's basically a mini plum, y'all. It's so good and sweet. They say it's a new fruit. It's a mix between the cherry and a plum. Mm -hmm. It's a hybrid. 
That's why it's small. We got that big seed in there, like a mm. cherry. But to me, it don't taste like a cherry at all. It just tastes mm. like a small plum. It's just they call it cherry because it's small. I'm sure that's where they get the cherry part from because it's small. Well, look at the pack. Get the package it's right over here. It said new fruit. Yeah, a delicious new fruit. Part cherry, part plum. Yeah. Got these from H-E-B, y'all. You can't get them from every H-E-B, but you can get it from some, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, these scientists are super smart. They, they can, they be like playing God now. They can mix species and mix different, you know, mm -hmm. and come up with new stuff. I wonder, is it like regulated? Like yes, what they somewhat. can do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> somewhat, yeah. And then there's the they could be in there like doing all kinds of stuff. That's the underground too. You know, like cloning people, right, trying to create super soldiers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You think they're doing that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. They was able to like they mixed a goat and a spider together. Are I, you kidding me? I forgot why they did it. Oh, cause then the goat. So then they would they were able because they were trying to mass produce spider silk. They were using spider silk like militarily or something. Mm -hmm. So they needed a bunch of spiders don't make it fast enough. So they gave the goat the genes to produce the silk. So then they have to get it from the goat's milk. So they milk the goat what? and then get silk from the from the milk. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yes. So they could of course they could give you the, you know what I'm saying possibly the eyesight of an eagle. The hearing of a, you know what I'm saying, a oh cat. Oh my God, they could. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But that would be a soulless human being created in the laboratory, a perfect body for a demonic spirit to inhabit. Mm. That's deep. That's why it's on the ground. That's why they won't allow it, you know what I'm saying? You got religious people. You know, part of groups keeping the class on things. That's unethical, they call it, which, you know, it is. But uh, even run the world eventually, it's gonna all come out and open. Of course, they're gonna do it in secret if they can't do it in the light. Wow. Wow. Is that how they came up with um the lighter? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, they did that. Mm -hmm. I wonder why they decided to do that. Like, what? What was Wait. the purpose of doing that? Actually, that that might have happened naturally. It could possibly. Like the stuff they do or not, life has been around for a while. I don't know. I don't really know the details on it. But yeah, that's they can. Because all they have to do they can is do whatever they want. I seen they had a they had a human ear growing on a mouse back. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say it with my own eyes. So the, and they, they can do all that. I know the, they can cure some of these dad on dang on diseases. For sure, like, but they making too much money. Charging you for treatments that's not gonna work. Plus, they're wow. calling the population. You know what I'm saying? They, there's too many people on the planet, which is a problem because how you can't once they're here, they're here. You can't. It's unethical to kill people or let people die, so they do it mm -hmm. sneakily. Mm -hmm. You ever know that? Pay attention. Look how long our great grandparents lived. To be 80 and 90 years old, 100 some of them. Mm -hmm. And then now, like, grandparents die 65, 70 years old, you know, like 20 years yeah, so sure. earlier than the great grandparents. They got a lot to do with all this. See, great grandparents, they were eating from the garden. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Mm -hmm. And we eating all this food that been sprayed. And, yep. They were eating right from their garden. And they spraying the air, they spraying the water. They infecting us on so many levels. Yep. Trying to eliminate us. Food coming in plastic that's got poisons in it that's infecting the food. Yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, really. I'm sorry yeah. if I ruined anybody's day with this dose yeah. of realism, but sometimes <laughs> it's necessary. Yeah, it was pretty good. You really full, huh? You ain't Darkness even gonna finish. for three hours. Can you imagine? I bet some people lost their mind out there. I'm gonna sure. show start tripping if it get dark at 12 noon. And it's all the way dark. And it wasn't I no eclipse. I mean, what you gonna do? It you wasn't no eclipse. It wasn't no eclipse plan. 
Wow. I guess that would be a little scary, but I mean, I wouldn't go completely bonkers. Yeah, I'm saying I wouldn't go bonkers either, but you know. But what I'm trying to say is like, like if people knew that they, like, say if people, the world knew that you only got a month left to live. Yeah. You think everybody's gonna be going to work every day? Oh no, of course not. Gonna be going to work. Then everything is gonna grind to a, a halt. That's gonna be it. No more going to work. Would you care, like, if you was a nasty person, you had evil in you and you wanted to kill somebody and you knew that the world was getting ready to end or whatever. Oh, you think everybody would be running around trying to do that? They would do it. People would be doing whatever they want to do. They wouldn't care. Yeah, you know, you're true. That's so true. you got to keep stuff like that a secret. A lot of people think, oh, nothing's going to happen because they would tell us. They don't love you. They don't. I won't tell you nothing. Anyway. <clears throat> so, did you enjoy your meal? Except Absolutely. For that rice? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, the rice, it was edible though. I even enjoyed the rice somewhat. It got, I got used to it after a while. But this is definitely not... You know, we didn't eat... This has come out of the box. I'm sorry. That's a box. Well, I'm, I mean, doesn't all of their food come out of... You know, it's all frozen, I don't know. isn't it? I grew up on rice dressing. I don't know what dirty rice is. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't have dirty rice? We ate rice dressing. I thought your mama made dirty rice. You could call it dirty. I don't. We made rice dressing. Oh, that's what y'all call it. That's what we call it. Okay. Anyway, I don't so. know if dirty rice is different, but that ain't what we called it, and it don't taste like dirty rice. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed my food. My food. I got kind of full, so I didn't finish all of it. But y'all, this seafood salad. Seafood Caesar salad is so good. Y'all have to try it at Papa Do's. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. All right. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. What are you laughing at? Because it's like you be looking deep into my soul or something. Why you be looking with your eyes? Like, I can't help it if that's like what my eyes look like. That's how God gave, that's what oh he gave me to work gosh. with. Gosh, <laughs> anyway. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. You ain't doing now. that on purpose. What? I'm actually looking at myself. I'm not looking at you. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Y'all come back now. You hear? Yeah.